This video will show you how to perform audiometric testing using the Mako MA42. Set up the device with a power cord and connect the transducers and accessories. Use the power switch on the back side of the device to power on. The display will show the Mako splash screen. Before performing any measurements, take care of a suitable environment. The MA42 should be operated in a quiet room or sound booth so that the audiometric examinations are not influenced by outside noise. Make sure that the patient is comfortable on a chair. The MA42 has a clear layout and key arrangement which is consistent through all tests and screens. The arrangement of the side function keys allows for easy one-handed operation. The side function keys include the control dials to adjust the hearing level or scroll through selection menus. The present keys are used to present or interrupt the signal or masking noise or confirm selection in menus. The store keys allow to store single results or no response results with a long press. The plus and minus keys change to a higher or lower frequency in the tone tests and allow to enter a correct or incorrect answer in the speech tests. For the LED keys, the visible key assignment via LED provides clear identification and gives an overview of the available options. The stim talk and stim monitor keys allow with a quick selection to set the presentation mode, interrupter or presenter, and give easy access to talk forward, talk back and monitor functions. The lower LED keys allow you to change the transducer to set the signal type for the tone tests and to use the lock and track functions. The lock and track functions assist with binaural testing or masking. The display function keys are also clearly arranged for a quick test progression. If an arrow is displayed next to a symbol, a function key has two selection options, the quick select and the advanced select. With quick select, a short key press makes a direct selection. With the advanced select, a long press opens a selection menu. The screen selection keys are located on the right side. The test selection is used for quick transition from pure tone audiometry to speech audiometry. The menu selection takes you to the special test menu and the settings menu or opens the speech test list. On the left side of the screen are the data management functions. Delete to start a new session or delete a single point. And print to save the data as a PDF report or create a thermal printout. The lower display function keys are used for the test navigation. It allows the ear side and the test signal to be set independently for each channel. In addition, each test screen has a test type key to select different test types, which is important for correct storing of results within the device. The Pure Tone audiometry test screen is divided into several sections. The numerical bar gives a quick overview of the test parameters of the two channels. Frequency, level, stimulus type and indicator. The stimulus indicator lights up when a stimulus is presented. 
When the patient response switch is pressed, the patient response indicator is displayed above the numerical bar. Graphical display of the stored results appears in the one or two audiogram view. The cursors show the selected levels. The test signal is represented by a plus, the masking noise is indicated by a minus symbol. Below the audiogram, the calculated PTA values will display and the masking tables can be displayed when enabled in the settings. The tables show the effective masking levels when masking has been applied. In the two audiogram view, the maximum level of the selected transducers are indicated by the gray area. Prepare the patient for the test by placing the corresponding transducer on the patient. Choose the corresponding transducer on the device. Then select either the ear for the channel or the test signal for the patient's ear to be tested. And, if necessary, the masking signal for the other ear. In the Pure Tone audiometry, the test types HL, MCL and UCL are available. If a speaker configuration is calibrated to the MA42, HL aided is also provided for selection. Now select the test frequency and level and use the present key to present or interrupt the test signal. When the patient indicates to have heard the signal, store the value and continue with another frequency or change the ear sight. The speech audiometry test screen is divided into different sections. The numerical bar gives a quick overview of the test parameters of the two channels. It includes a counter for WRS testing and shows the selected level, input signal and stimulus indicator. The indicator lights up when the input signal is presented to the patient. Below the numerical bar, the VU meter is displayed. The VU meter allows you to monitor whether the levels of the input signal are correct. Test, test, test. The graphical display of the stored results appears in a speech diagram or table. Additionally, the cursors show the selected levels. The input signal is represented by a plus, the masking noise is indicated by a minus symbol. Below the diagram or table, the calculated PTA values are displayed. Prepare the patient for the test by placing the transducer on the patient. And select the corresponding transducer on the device. Then select the ear for the channel and the input signal for the patient's ear to be tested and, if necessary, the masking signal for the other ear. The MA42 has a microphone input for living speech and an auxiliary input for connecting an external audio device. In addition, speech tests can be performed with integrated WAV files. Choose the test type. In the speech audiometry, the test types SRT, WRS, MCL and UCL are available. If a speaker configuration is calibrated to the MA42, SRT and WRS aided are also provided for selection. Now select level and present the speech material. House. For WRS testing, the counter can be adjusted using the plus and minus keys. Three. Sun. Then store the result and continue with another speech test or change the ear sight. The MA42 has various special tests which are accessible through the special test menu. Some tests are available for free, others are available with purchase licenses. Select the high frequency audiometry from the special test menu. 
The layout and operation of the high-frequency audiometry is similar to the Pyoton audiometry. Additionally, the high-frequency test screen shows an expanded audiogram view. The left audiogram displays the values for the standard frequency range. The right audiogram displays the values for the high-frequency range from 9 kHz to 16 kHz. The values for the left and right ear are combined in the same audiogram and can be distinguished by color. Red is for right and left is for blue. And symbols. The testing procedure is identical to the one in the pure tone audiometry. The Pure Tone and Speech Stanger and the Master Hearing Aid are test tools in the special test menu. Storing and data management is not supported by the test tools. The Stanger screens are reduced Pure Tone or Speech Audiometry screens with fixed settings. The Tone or Speech input is pre-selected as a binaural signal type in both channels. The Stanger screens display previously measured test results to facilitate the test procedure. The master hearing aid allows the adjustment of different frequency slopes for speech signals to demonstrate the benefit of a hearing aid. As part of the special tests, the MA42 provides various over-threshold tests. These diagnostic tests include the SISI, Tone DK, ABLB, MLB and Langenbeck test. The tests are used to differentiate between a cochlear and a retrocochlear hearing disorder. All measurement screens are reduced to the necessary functions and display the pure tone audiometry measurement results of the selected ear for ease of reference. The Short Increment Sensitivity Index Test, or SISI test, is an automatic recruitment test. Set the ear site and frequency to be measured and the required level. The automatic measurement method is started using the STIM button. The level of the tone is increased by the set increment during the test. Instruct the patient to press the patient response switch when an increment is heard. The increments can be adjusted between 5 dB to 2 dB for practice purposes. The CC test is performed fully automatically at 1 dB increment and is stopped and stored after 20 increments. The results are shown in the table below. To abort the measurement, during the test run, without storing, select Cancel. The Tone DK test is an automatic test that assesses auditory adaptation to a persistent pure tone. Set the ear sight, frequency and level and press the STIM button to start the measurement. Beforehand, instruct the patient to press the patient response switch as long as the tone is heard. When the patient releases the switch, the level is increased in 5 dB steps until the patient presses the switch again. The test ends automatically after increasing the level by more than 30 dB or after 60 seconds at the last level. The stored results are recorded in the DK diagram. For a closer evaluation, the duration of the level heard is plotted along each level step. To abort the measurement during the test run without storing it, select Cancel. The Alternate Binaural Loudness Balance ABLB or Fowler test is a recruitment test that directly evaluates loudness balance. The test is used when a unilateral hearing impairment with an interaural hearing threshold difference of at least 30 dB is present. Select the frequency and the corresponding over threshold levels.
use the stim button to start the ear side alternating presentation of the pure tone. The duration of the presentation can be selected between 500 and 1000 milliseconds. Then increase the level in 5 dB steps until the patient indicates that the loudness is perceived equally in both ears. Use STORE to save the measurement points and repeat the measurement until complete loudness balance is achieved. To stop the test, end the tone presentation as usual with a STIM button. The MLB Monoral Loudness Balance Test is another recruitment test to determine loudness balance. The monoral test compares the loudness perception at hearing impaired frequency with a normal hearing frequency. Select the ear sight frequencies and the corresponding over threshold levels. Start the frequency alternating presentation of the pure tones with a stim button. The duration of the presentation can be selected between 500 and 1000 milliseconds. Then increase the level in 5 dB steps until the patient indicates that the loudness of both frequencies is perceived as equal. Use STORE to save the measurement points and repeat the measurement until complete loudness equalization is achieved. To stop the test, end the tone presentation as usual with a stim button. The tone and noise Langenbeck test is an over threshold test for evaluating the discrimination ability of different stimuli. Select the ear sight, frequency and level of the narrowband noise. Turn on the noise presentation constantly using the appropriate stim button. After instructing the patient, measure the pure tone hearing threshold again with the standard procedure while the noise is simultaneously presented in the same ear. The determined masked hearing threshold is stored in the Langenbeck audiogram as an additional threshold. This allows direct comparison of the masked hearing threshold with the hearing threshold in quiet and facilitates evaluation. The MA42 offers various options for creating test reports. The data can be saved as a PDF on a USB flash drive or printed directly with a portable 3-inch thermal printer. If you use the MA42 together with the MAKO session software, each stored result is automatically transferred to the PC to ensure smooth data management. It is recommended that the MA42 and the accessories, which come in direct contact with the patient, be subjected to standard cleaning and disinfecting procedure between patients. Before cleaning, always switch off and disconnect the device from power supply. For cleaning, use a lightly dampened cloth with soap water solution. Disinfect the device and accessories by wiping the surfaces with wet disinfection wipes and allow them to take effect for the duration recommended. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned.